Hello and welcome to RTE.ie's coverage of the Irish Film and Television Awards from Dublin. Tonight, stars from home and Hollywood will be gracing the red carpet here. And we're going to chat to them about the fashion, the fun and the nominations. Um, how are you this evening? You look absolutely gorgeous. Tell us about the dress. Do you love picking out dresses for events like this? I do now, actually, yeah. I think when I was a little bit younger, not so much, because I was 12, 13, and um, I wore tracksuit bottoms and jeans, and, you know, I live in the country and things like that, so it's not really something that I loved doing. But now I love it, and I'm really interested in fashion and uh, just experimenting with clothes and different ideas. and. Yeah, and so I'm wearing Burberry tonight. I'm just completely dressed out in them, and it's great, yeah. Congratulations on your nomination. Is it particularly special to be nominated at home? I know you go to these events all around the world, but it must be nice to come home and be recognised here. It is, you know, I think it is definitely one of the top awards um, for me. It's very special for me because it's the Irish Film Television Awards, and um, there's people that I know that are going to be here, and it's really... For me, it's not about who wins the awards, but it's about celebrating film. There doesn't seem to be any competitiveness at, at this type of award show because it's still small and, you know, um, I think it's really nice and you get to meet up with people who you haven't seen in a while or people who you'd like to meet, so it's lovely. Miriam, how are you? You look absolutely gorgeous. Can you tell us about the dress? Yes, I got it in Pamascot two days ago. Actually, Catherine and Artie Ward have been brilliantly looking for dresses for me, but then we found this, and there was a flaw in the zip, so we got it very cheap. So that's good. Are you always a last-minute shopper like that? I am. I'm a worst nightmare for everyone in Artie. Artie Ward would go, oh, no, she wants a dress an hour ago. And I run in every night in prime time saying, I've got three minutes there. Can you just put some makeup on? They go, oh, God, Miriam. But they're great. They suffer me. Hello, Garonia. You look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Do you love picking out dresses for events like this? No, I find it actually really, really stressful. I don't enjoy shopping as a rule. I'm very, I'm very ungirly in that way. But I was lucky this sort of kind of jumped out at me in a boutique in Clarendon Street called Coco. So I'm very pleased with it. It's very comfy. And the All Ireland Talent Show up for an award tonight. Are you all very excited about it? Oh, no, it's great to be nominated. I mean, it, it adds to the night, but the night is great weather, which, I mean, I have been in this situation of being nominated before. I've never won an IFTA, but it's just great to be part of an evening like this, to be part of the celebration of the Irish TV and film industry. Josh, how are you? Are, are you thrilled to be in Dublin for this event? I am, yeah. yeah. It was my first time here at the IFTA, so, yeah. And you have some Irish roots, I understand, do you? I do, yeah, yeah. My family's a bit Irish. Uh, I'm, you know, only a quarter Irish myself or of Irish heritage, so uh, I guess, I don't know, that's like every American, right? Everybody claims it on St. Patrick's Day. But, I, uh, but I've been over a few times because my, my father and my stepmother are almost, my father's half Irish, my stepmother's fully Irish, and so kind of, and they're all from the southwest Dingle area. So we went down there a few years ago. Uh, for a visit, and then I know a few people in town, so I've been to Dublin a few times. Congratulations on your nomination tonight. Were you absolutely Cheers. thrilled to get it? I was, I was. I didn't expect it, and it felt like because we did the first series like five years ago, it felt like like a nod from back then. So it was great. It was great, and I'm really proud of it. So, um, so it's nice to get the industry behind you. It's always nice. So I'm going to the glamorous Fair City ladies tonight. Oh, we're here, thank God. <laughs> Do you ladies love events like this, getting glammed up for the red carpet? I find them very hard work, actually. It's a love-hate relationship that <laughs> I have. It's yeah. a job, really. It's, you're all right it? as long as you're standing and you don't have to sit down in the frock. <laughs> you can stay standing, you're grand. But I mean, it's, yeah, it's a lot. It's you get in your dress, your hair, your makeup, your shoes. It's exhausting. It's, I, yeah. I can't, I, I've never been married, but I could only a kid yeah. to getting married. Or get, like, it's like, it's like <laughs> exactly. doing your communion all over again. It must be a nice reunion to meet up with people from the Irish film industry. That's the big deal for me, is just being able to bump into people who I've worked with and who I don't see a lot of because I'm not in the country and I... I miss it. I miss being here. I miss the people I've worked with, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, how are you? Congratulations on, on Dean being nominated tonight. Are you all very excited about the nomination? I'm very excited. I'm very excited for my my friends and, um, you know, we got eight nominations as far as I remember, so um, best movie as well, so I'm there to uh, support, support the movie. Amy, how are you? You look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Do you love getting dressed up for events like this? Yeah, it's kind of 
of hard work though oh my god the preparation starts so early on but um, it, I, there's nothing else that I dress up this much for so it's kind of it's it's lovely to stick to the old school red carpet you know formalities which is nice and the dress is absolutely beautiful I have to say can you tell us a bit about it yeah um, it's a design called Bell and Bunty um, I got it in a boutique in uh, Rathgar called 99B and um, so they and the jewellery is Rebecca Davis um, so I've kind and the bag is Strahan Hines so yeah I'm kind of mishmashed of everything so they've all kindly lent them out to me for the evening congratulations on the nominations tonight are you very pleased to be here yeah, it's a special honor and kind of and proud you know on behalf of the clinic so um, it was it's lovely to get the nod um, especially in as something as prestigious as this so um, it's lovely and it, you know been involved in the clinic for seven years so it's kind of it's um, I'm really proud to kind of be up there feel like I'm representing everyone in it so um, I'm happy to, to to be there for for everyone I kind of feel like I'm sharing it with them as well the nomination so congratulations on your nomination were you thrilled to be honored for this work yeah absolutely I was I was very shocked because I don't know if you've seen the film I I really haven't got a prominent part in it but you know to get a, a chance to work with someone like Neil Jordan is you know a once in a lifetime experience and uh, it was it was terrific so even if I don't win I'm amongst a great group of women and uh, obviously there are three losers and one winner and uh, I hope I hope I win <laughs> you all are in town to nominate tonight are you all very excited yeah we are it's great to be up there isn't it John absolutely well it's been a great year uh, ratings are kind of like off the Richter scale and uh, the talent this year has been good yep absolutely well mine is better than yours sorry. no no she's not a hot <laughs> candidate all right she's not a hot candidate this war never stops does it um, occasionally occasionally uh, I'd say around about dessert time tonight it'll heat up you know I don't know Hello. Colin, how are you? Good. Congratulations on your nomination Thanks tonight. A million. Is it extra special to be nominated at home for an It really is. I mean, anything, you know, any of these things or any film experiences that I've had have kind of been, been, been really lovely to be part of. Every single one of them, even with some minor trials and tribulations that may appear. Or, it's always been lovely, but to, to do it back home, it just kind of, the joy in it gets magnified, you know, when it's back home. And the same goes for an award ceremony like this and, and getting a mention, you know. Yeah. I'm sure it's nice to meet up with people from the industry yeah, here. Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, I started off here, you know, and, um, and it's lovely to get the chance to come back here and to get the chance to come back here, you know, with filmmakers like, like John Crowley and, and, uh, and Neil Jordan and writers like Marco Rowe and work on such beautiful kind of homegrown pieces, you know. Best of luck. Thanks Thank you very much. Take care. Lisa, you look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Can you tell us about your dress? The dress is Simon O'Mahony, and I wore his dress last year to the Oscars, and I loved it. I was actually going to go wear it again this year, and then he came up with this creation, which is just stunning. I love the back. Do you think it's very important that Ireland has an event like this to celebrate the best talent that we have here in the city? Particularly for up and coming talent, I think. So they're not left isolated. They'll see, you know, what the whole thing is about. And yeah, it's a great idea. Were you very pleased with the response to the second series of Raw? Um, I'm only hearing it now, actually, because I live in London. So I've, I've gathered it's gone pretty well. Yeah, yeah. No, it's brilliant. Um, you know, it's a difficult transition from Network 2 to RT1. We had to make the show a lot more grown up and we had to take out a lot of the sex and drugs and rock and roll so people could watch it on a Sunday night after the news. But um, no, as far as I gather, it's gone down pretty well. And uh, yeah, it's looking good for a third series. So that's yeah, great. I was just going to ask you that. So you'd all be on board pretty much for another So everybody, certainly the cast are very keen on doing a third series anyway. And um, um, we have been asked in the last few weeks, are we interested in doing that? And I think everybody is. We had a great time doing it. So yeah, we'd love to get back together again and do it. Um, but it's, unfortunately, it's going to be another year away before it's on the TV. So. You look absolutely gorgeous representing for the afternoon show. Do you love these glitzy events getting dressed up for them? I kind of feel kind of nervous just walking down here. It's like the going to school. are very nervous. But what we did was we have a room upstairs and we got dressed upstairs. And that actually helps because the whole arriving is pretty nerve-wracking. And getting out of the car. It's like first day at school again. But it is amazing and it's a great excuse to dress up. I mean, it really is. You don't do that all the time, you know. And stare at beautiful And we're men. standing beside Josh Harnett. <laughs> Say it louder, he might hear you. <laughs> no, please, Beatrice. We, we haven't had a drink yet, so, you know. That's, that's why we're not moving. We're just going really slowly along here. And we're looking forward to tonight. And it's so great to stand side by side with, like, really, really yeah. famous actors that you only look at in the magazines. <laughs> Nora, how are you? You look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Do you love coming to events like this and getting the old glammed up? Yeah, I mean, it's always fun to get a 
try something different and kind of, you know, the, the, the glamour of it all. Yeah. Are you excited about the night ahead? I am. I'm just, I'm just excited to be nominated in such an amazing category and such talented people. It's, it's an honour in itself just to even be in that category of people. It's, it's lovely to have this kind of a celebration for the best of Irish talent across film and television. There, there's so many talented people in Ireland. It's, you know, it's an amazing thing to support the work that we do and, and hopefully it'll grow and grow as the years go on. Catherine, you look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Can you tell us about your dress? Thank you very much. Yeah, I actually got it in Arnott's. It's an Irish company called Dress Code. And um, believe it or not, I was in Arnott's looking for a coffee table and found it. So, um, yeah, it's a great girl. Um, the company is called Dress Code, so I absolutely love it. And do you love coming to events like this, the glitz and the glamour of the red car? Yeah, well, I'm a bit sort of panicked now because I've just finished. We just finished a winning streak about 10 minutes ago. So it was out of one guna into the other, and you're sort of trying to tuck yourself in as you go. But um, oh, the iftas are always great, um, always fantastic. And I just walked in and just had my arm around John Voigt. How cool is that? You made a great start to the evening. Good start, good start. It can only get better, I reckon. Were you thrilled to be able to come over here? I was thrilled. That's exactly the word. I was thrilled to come over here to see all you great people. Yeah, I, I, I loved uh, the idea of revisiting Ireland and seeing some of my friends here. You're going to pay tribute to John Borman tonight. Yes. Mm -hmm. John, John is, of course, the d director of Deliverance, which is one of oh, one yeah, of the no, films that I've uh, been, uh, you know, wed to over the years. People are very happy with that film. It's a classic film, and I was very lucky to be part of it. So anyway, uh, and then the d the General was a good film as well. So it's going to. It, it was uh, my association with John has been very rich for for both of us, I think. But You'd call him a dear friend at this stage. Yes, he's a dear friend, indeed. Yeah. And it's nice to be able to meet up with some of the Irish um, actors and directors here. Yeah, yeah. Well, some of them, some of these guys are new to me, but we've I, I've seen their work. I'm a big fan of some of these fellows, so it's it's great for me to be able to uh, say hello to them. You know? Well, I've never been at this before. This is my very first time, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm told that. Uh, well, everybody expects the meteors to be the wild one, that this is in fact the wild one. Hi Jade, how are you? Are you very excited about this? I'm a big bag of nerves. <laughs> it's great though, I can't wait for tonight. You should be very proud of the nomination. I'm absolutely over the moon. I'm actually at the IFTAS, I'm still trying to kind of configure that in my brain somewhere, but yeah, I'm just enjoying it for what it is. I'm trying to soak it all in, but I don't think that's going to happen. Do you love coming over to Ireland for events like this? I do, yeah, I love Ireland and uh, any excuse like tonight, I'm on the plane immediately. Yeah. You're going to present an award tonight? I am, yeah. I'm going to do uh, best, uh, best Irish film, I think, yeah. Tatiana, you look absolutely gorgeous tonight. Can you tell us about your dress? Yeah, the dress is uh, given to me by Arab designer. Her name is Botaina. She made it for me because she thought black will go with blonde. So I was very kind of impressed with her. And are you excited about your nomination tonight? I am, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect it, but they, they called me and they said, you are nominated. So well. Congratulations on your nomination, first of all. Is it nice to be nominated at home? Ah, it is, of course, yeah. Of course it is, yeah. No, it's, it's, um, it's great. It's funny. I, mean, I haven't really been thinking very hard about it because, uh, you know, there's a presentation to John Berman tonight, which is kind of really, uh, really, uh, it's all I've been thinking about. I haven't really been thinking about my own nomination, although uh, I'm, in an, I'm in a ridiculous category with kind of, you know, Gabriel Byrne and Liam Neeson and people like that, and you're kind of saying, what's that about? But I, honestly, it really is mostly I've been thinking about John today. You're going to present an award tonight? Yeah, presenting, um, you know, uh, Future Star. I forget if they're calling it Rising Star, Future Star, rising Star, star of rising. Tomorrow, whatever it is. It's exciting. It's good, it's exciting, right? Thank you. You're very pleased to be able to come over to Ireland for this event. Very happy, and I'm happy to match your green with my green because I came to Ireland with the green. <laughs> Tell us about your dress, it's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, uh, Albert Elbaz, he's a friend of mine, he's, he's, um, he's doing all the creation for Lanvin, and I love him, he's a dear friend. I understand you're going to pay tribute to John Berman tonight? Yes, we actually with this guy there on my left. Brendan? Yeah, Brendan, we're going to do uh, some uh, honor, honoring him. Uh, he's a wonderful man, so there's, I couldn't escape any of it. <laughs> I had to come here. Congratulations on your nomination. Thank first you very much. Uh, does it feel extra special to be nominated at home for awards? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I think it's just nice to come home and sort of everybody here sort of, you know, getting together and celebrating 
what we do in this small island. And, you know, there's a lot of talent here, and not just sort of in front of the camera, you know, behind the camera. The crew that I just worked with on Knockout, on the Soderbergh film, you know, just really, you know, you have to step back. And every day at work, I was thinking, God, you know, the talent here is pretty phenomenal. And the efficiency and, and, and everybody's good at what they do and they, they don't make a big fuss about it. They just get on with it. Yes. Hi, Alison. How are you? Do you enjoy coming to these type of events, getting glitzed up for the red car? Do I? I love it, but I'm really nervous. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but I am. I always get so nervous at these events. Yes, I do. It's nice to be recognized by anybody, and when it's by you know your own country people, yeah, it, it means a lot. And the Tudors must have a very special place in your heart at this stage. Uh, it does, it does. We've been through a lot uh, together, and you know, I'm sad to see it go, but at the same time, I'm glad to see it go. It's kind of like mixed emotions. I like to move on. Do you enjoy coming to events like this? Well, you know, you know, I'm not really a red carpet person and uh, you could be busy on the red carpet every day of the week, uh, either he between here and in London. But this is a special night. It's a great night and we're amazing, you know, talent. Uh, I saw Charlie Borm Borman, I saw Adrian Dunbar, had a chat with, and, and of course, uh, uh, jo um, John Borman. I mean, these are the gods of Irish cinema and, uh, and television and it's a really fantastic just to rub sh uh, shoulders with them. You're going to be presenting an award tonight? I'm presenting an award in the factual category. Um, and my brother Dara, Dara McIntyre, Panorama reporter, uh, BBC Spotlight, is also up for an award. And um, so, uh, you know, wishing the best of luck, you know. So. What is this? RTE. Right.